हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इस वीडियो में मैं आपको एक डिक्टेशन दे रहा हूं जो कि एक्सट्रैक्ट है सुप्रीम कोर्ट जजमेंट का जो कि टाइटल्ड है धनी राम एंड अदर्स वर्सेस शिव सिंह ये सिविल अपील नंबर 8172 ऑफ 2009 है और लीगल मैटर uh, जो, जो भी अगर आप कर रहे हैं लीगल स्किल टेस्ट देने के लिए आप डिफरेंट तरह के करते रहिए और ये मैं आपको सजेस्ट करना चाहूँगा कि जब भी आप कोई भी मैटर की डिक्टेशन लें उसको ट्रांसक्राइब ज़रूर करें ट्रांसक्राइब कंप्यूटर पे करें उसके बाद उसको अच्छी तरह से टेक्स्ट के साथ टैरी करें जो भी मिस्टेक्स आती हैं उनको मार्क करें और उन पर आप काम करें काम इन देंस आपको उनकी आउटलाइंस अगर नहीं आती ओमिशंस हो गई हैं तो ओमिशंस देखिए किस तरह से हुई हैं क्यों हुई हैं क्या आप वर्ड को नहीं समझ पाए या आपके पास आउटलाइन नहीं थी या आपको मीनिंग नहीं पता ये सभी चीज़ें इम्पॉर्टेंट होती हैं एक पैसेज को जब आप लेते हैं ट्रांसक्रिप्शन का उसको अच्छी तरह से देखिए किस तरह की मिस्टेक्स हैं और उन मिस्टेक को आप अच्छी तरह आउटलाइन अपनी प्रैक्टिस कीजिए ओमिशंस हैं तो उसका भी रीज़न देखिए और उसके बाद उसको री ज़रूर करिए अगर आप री नहीं करेंगे तो हमेशा आप एक इनकम्प्लीट काम करेंगे कंप्लीट काम तब होता है जब उसमें जो भी हमें दिक्कत आई है उस पर हम काम करें और उसको फिर लिखें और इसके अलावा मैं कहूँगा आप एक रजिस्टर बना लें जिसमें आप ऐसे लीगल वर्ड जो भी आपको डिक्टेशन में आते रहते हैं उसमें लिखिए उनके आउटलाइन लिखिए उनके मीनिंग लिखिए क्योंकि मीनिंग आना भी ज़रूरी है इन देंस कि आप को पता लगे कि कभी अगर आप नहीं लिख पाए किसी रीज़न से तो आपको पता लगे ये वर्ड यहाँ पर आ सकता है तो ये आप रेगुलरली ये आपको ये चीज़ें करनी हैं और जितना आप करेंगे देखिए आपका लीगल डिक्टेशंस में आपका कॉन्फिडेंस बढ़ जाएगा और ये एक प्रोसेस है जिसको हम लगातार करते रहते हैं और अपने आप को इम्प्रूव करते रहते हैं इसका लिंक जो है टेक्स्ट का मैं डिस्क्रिप्शन में आपको दे दूंगा वहां से आप देख सकते हैं तो अब मैं डिक्टेशन शुरू करता हूं फॉर डिक्टेशन ऑफ एन एक्सट्रैक्ट फ्रॉम द सुप्रीम कोर्ट जजमेंट फाइव सेकंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट इट इज वेल सेटल्ड दैट मियर रजिस्ट्रेशन वुड नॉट सेंक्टिफाई अ डॉक्यूमेंट by attaching to it an irrebuttable presumption of genuineness the observations of this court in purnima and another versus kumar narayan and another which were referred to by the himachal pradesh high court are of guidance in this regard and are worthy of extraction these observations read as under there is no doubt that if a will has been registered that is a circumstance which may having regard to the circumstances prove its genuineness but the mere fact that a will is registered will not by itself be sufficient to dispel all suspicion regarding it where suspicion exists without submitting the evidence of registration to a close examination if the evidence as to registration on a close examination reveals that the registration was made in such a manner that it was brought home to the testator that the document of which he was admitting execution was a will disposing of his property and thereafter he admitted its execution and signed it in token thereof the registration will dispel the doubt as to the genuineness of the will 
But if the evidence as to registration shows that it was done in a perfunctory manner, that the officer registering the will did not read it over to the testator or did not bring home to him that he was admitting the execution of a will or did not satisfy himself in some other way, as for example, by seeing the testator reading the will, that the testator knew that it was a will, the execution of which he was admitting, the fact that the will was registered would not be of much value. It is not unknown that registration may take place without the exhibitant really knowing what he was registering. Law reports are full of cases in which registered wills have not been acted upon. Therefore, the mere fact of registration may not be may not by itself be enough to dispel all suspicion that may attach to the execution and attestation of a will. Though the fact that there has been registration would be an important circumstance in favor of the will being genuine if the evidence as to registration establishes that the testator admitted the execution of the will after knowing that it was a will, the execution of which he was admitting. We may also refer to Janki Narayan versus Namdeo, wherein this court held that to prove that a will has been ex- executed, the requirements in clauses A, B, and C of Section 63 of the Succession Act have to be complied with. It was pointed out that the most important point is that the will has to be attested by two or more witnesses and each of these witnesses must have seen the testator sign or affix his mark to the will or must have seen some other person sign the will in the presence of and by the direction of the testator or must have received from the testator a personal acknowledgement of his signature or mark or of the signature or mark of such other person and each of the witnesses has to sign the will in the presence of the testator. It was further held that a person propounding a will has got to prove that the will was duly and validly executed and that cannot be done by simply proving that the signature on the will was that of the testator as the propounder must also prove that the attestations were made properly as required by Section 63C of the Succession Act. These observations were affirmed and quoted with approval by this court in its later judgment in Lalita Ban versus Jamnadas 
कटारिया एंड अदर्स फुल स्टॉप